Hey, what's going on you guys? Sambo here. Welcome back to our small. Just got a little little video for you guys here today where we're going to update the little rural highway that goes up through the peninsula. And basically, we're just going to update that, make a few changes, add in some more on-ramps, off-ramps, and some new intersections as well. And we also need to just upgrade it because there is going to be a lot more development up on the end of the peninsula. There's going to be other little towns. There's going to be a lot to come up there. So we definitely need to make sure we have all of that ready. So one thing I should mention is throughout this video, I started using this road here, which actually has kind of the red uh, the red railing, the guide, I don't know what you call it, but um, I, yes, I was using this to draw out where it was because I was going to use it, but then because of all of all these different little reasons and things weren't working properly, I decided to get rid of those. So you'll see them as red now, but eventually I downgrade it to something else. Now, the reason why I want to do this is because, like I said, there's going to be a lot more other little towns up here, lots of little developments. Also, there's going to be industrial spaces and unique uh, like factories like for the farming and forestry and things like that. So we definitely need to make sure all of this is good to go. And yes, this existing road was good, good for now, but um, there's a lot of areas where traffic can be interrupted and having traffic interrupted like that isn't really going to be suitable for what's to come in this area. Now, this part through here, I wanted both of the roads to go through here because uh, it's quite hilly, it's quite mountainous, and I didn't want the this new highway to go along the shore all the way down to the end. So I wanted it to come up through here and kind of weave through the, the mountain area here and go along the side of the road because we already have the road there. Um, the ground is kind of already cut out. So I thought, why don't we just do that? And I thought it would look cool to have the both roads next to each other because then you can see like the differences in speeds, differences in use, and I just think it would look really cool. For this part through here, I update the road because I wanted to use the road that has this kind of cement barrier underneath because I thought it looked quite good just having the cement barrier up against the normal road there because it is quite a hilly area. We'd need some kind of reinforcement as well. And since it is elevated, I thought why not use something a little bit different instead of just having it elevated and having an awkward space, an empty space underneath as well. So some of those houses there, they're probably not very happy because like once upon a time it was really quiet there. It was just a small little road. Now suddenly they have this big road that's like two meters up <laughs> above the ground. So probably not the happiest, but they'll just have to deal with it. Now, since we are downgrading the original highway to another one, the roads have to be changed. Um, I'm just changing the lighting spacing because I didn't want it to be too bright. Um, also, I don't know if I show it on camera, but I changed the speeds on the road. So the highway, I believe it's 100 or 110 kilometers an hour. I can't remember which one I did it as. And then the other road, it's down at like 50 or 60, something like that. So definitely I needed to make sure that the highway is faster than all of the other roads. Now the existing highway, it basically ends. Now, so the new highway takes over where the original highway was and the original highway actually goes over the new highway and goes over to the right side where there's going to be some other little entrance and exit lanes from the highway and it's also going to be a really useful spot because uh, those islands out there which you can see on the top there kind of <laughs> kind of hard to say but there's two islands out there and they're actually going to be inhabited as well and one of the islands I'm planning to make it very very compact and we need pretty good highway access because there's going to be a lot of people living out there and since we are near the highway, we need to have it all flowing very, very well. One thing that I am going to tell you guys is in this build, I don't do any roundabouts. So, oof, is that a first? So the reason why I'm not doing any roundabouts is because I want to, I don't want to have to just rely on them all the time because I mostly just put them in because they're easy, they're quick and people understand how to do it but I want to do something a little bit different. So I want to do more time traffic lights throughout Burgess here, throughout all of these towns in this country in particular. So yes, there are still roundabouts on this map that are existing from before, but I'm going to try not to do as many as I would like to, because I do still really like to manage 
the the time traffic lights because it is kind of satisfying when they all work like like probably in semi some of our stock I would have put like a roundabout right there but you know what we're doing something a little bit different so this part right here I just mentioned quickly so you can see how I updated that into a tunnel reason being is because since we are so close to the water there if there was like a king tide or something you know water's gonna gush in there so I thought let's make it a tunnel make the tunnel entrance up high so no water can go up in the tunnel um, this is just an off ramp from both sides the entrance to the highway those ramps will actually be up a little bit on the other side of these hills up here which you guys will see in a second so I don't want to put the entrance ramps and the off ramps all in one spot as I would normally do I wanted to do something just a little bit different because it's nice to look at so this is where the other ramps are going to be um, we have an off ramp from the highway we have this ramp that I'm doing now which will take them back onto the highway and then there's also going to be a another highway entrance ramp for the other side so there is a ramp for all directions it's just split amongst this position and the other one on the other side of the hill where the little town is so but yeah I, I do quite like it and over here is actually where the entrance to that island that I was talking about which is going to be fully inhabited uh, the island access point is just going to be there where the sand is so we need to make sure it's flowing very very well but at the moment I'm not going to do any time traffic lights because we really don't have many people like we only have 31,000 throughout the whole map um, you know all the towns and cities they're still pretty pretty small so we don't really need to manage any of those things yet especially because I don't know where all the traffic is going to be exactly coming from. I don't know what the flow is going to be like. So we don't need to do any of the time tra traffic lights just yet. We can get away with just doing the, the vanilla traffic lights. It looks really good when you put in those little um, signage, not signage, but the drawings on the road there, just to split up where the roads go. And it really just makes it clear where one side of the road is versus the other one. Now, here I'm adding on the entrance ramp. So we're going to utilize the space underneath, underneath this bridge. So where that road elevates and goes over the highway, that's where our entrance ramp will kind of slowly go underneath a little bit, just so we're using up the, the empty space and we're making it look a little bit more compact. So I didn't want, since we are in quite a hilly area, I didn't want to have to take away even more of the, the cliff face right there. So keeping it compact makes it look really cool as well. Now over here is where our entrance point is going to be for the island. Uh, again, I, I probably would have just put a roundabout where the entrance point is for the island, but we're not going to do that. And then this road over here is going to act as a second entrance point for, what's this town called? I can't I can't even remember what it's called off the top of my head, but yeah, instead of just having one entry point for this town that's up here on the peninsula, it's good to have another one because there's, like I said, there's going to be a lot of different developments in this area and um, it's just good to have more entry points. It's going to help them all get into the city. Some of them, you know, there's going to be houses out here. Some of them might just want to go there instead of having to go all the way up to the city to find an entry point, they can find one back here a little bit. So more options makes everything so, so much easier honestly the town over here it is going to be keeping in theme with all of the other towns so it's going to be an older style town so we need to do an older style bridge you can see I'm going through all of the different bridge types down there finding one that's suitable I ended up going with this one right here I think it looks pretty good um, it's just too low for for any of the um, the fishing boats to go underneath but if you if I were to bring it up a little bit higher it still looks really really good and the boats would then easily go underneath but at this point we're not going to worry about the boats we don't have any boats to really worry, worry about maybe in the future but yes and then this is the last point right here so uh, this is going to be one of the main uh, Burr Shiva highway intersections so but I assume this one shouldn't be too busy because like it's not the main highway uh, the main highway obviously has all of its own main connection points that go directly into the city this one is just an extra basically 
and I really do like these sharp turns here. So they come off the highway and then they have to do this, do this really sharp slow turn back and then they hit that four-way intersection which is going to be nice to um, manage with the time traffic lights. There is a roundabout there that we build this intersec intersection over, but that roundabout was there from basically the start of this whole series. So you can see it there in the corner. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm going to leave it there because it's just it's there. It's going to be handy to have anyway. And like I said, there's going to be still a lot more other roundabouts throughout the city. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do more roundabouts. There's still going to be yeah. I'm still going to do more, but I'm just trying not to do as many. So for this side of the inter interchange the connection point is just on any part just any of any old road but then the entry so i'm getting all my words mixed up the slip lane going on and off on the other side will actually go directly into the roundabout so just something a little bit different just to mix it up a little bit and um i'm pretty sure it'll work well and i'm pretty sure it'll work well But anyway, like I said, this was just a very quick little video. We still don't have too much traffic in this area, so there's not really too much I can show just yet. So I'm going to end the video there. I'll give you guys some final shots of the these new builds. But like I said, there's really not too much traffic in the area. So it's going to look like a bit of a ghost town at the moment. But keep in mind, there's still going to be a lot more development to come. And once all of those new developments come into this area, then all of these interchange and things and upgrades and things like that, it will make a lot more sense then. So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's all from me. Enjoy the final little shots to see how it turned out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.